Stop making happiness the end goal. Happiness is an emotion and you are allowed to have other emotions. It's natural, it's human. In fact, I encourage you to have other emotions. Trying to make happiness the end goal just sets an unattainable and unrealistic expectation. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the channel where we are all about shattering the mental health stigma. If you haven't already, please make sure you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button. Give the bell a few kisses so you're not missing any of this content designed to help you with your mental health or help you help someone else. Today, at the request of Samantha, my amazing Patreon, I am going to be playing around with Netta apparently with the song Toy. If you haven't had a chance to check out my Patreon, please make sure to do so. You get so many benefits, which are outlined in the description, and every single dime goes toward my mental health outreach, so make sure to check that out because I have a big project underway I'm about to announce. Stay tuned. But today, we are going to toy around a little bit with Netta. Okay, we're doing this. Look at me, I'm a beautiful creature. I don't care about your modern time preacher. Welcome on, what I presume there is the chorus. I have a lot of respect for someone who has the confidence to uh, be silly like this because a lot of us forget to connect to our inner child. And this woman does not give a chicken's tail feathers what anyone thinks. I love that. I think that her sound is very unique, not only because of her uncanny ability to make chicken noises like that so effortlessly, but I think that there's a very unique feel to it, and maybe it's just her energy. She loves despite the potential moral judgment of others, and she loves herself, she clearly can love other people, and that is a trait a lot of people forget about. She doesn't need the validation of catcalls or attention from boys. She was saying forgot how to play, and I think that's kind of a reminder to all of the men forgetting about courting and chivalry and respect, and instead opting to play games just to get some tail feathers. And it sounds to me like her inner child is reminding her how worthy she is and reminding her that it's okay to have fun. He sure is. foremost, uh, Stefa, if I am correct, if my memory serves me correctly, is uh, slang for money in Hebrew. So I think that is even more empowering because 
she's not going to be swayed by cash, by riches or power. And having someone who treats you right is far more important because hundred dollar bills aren't any more absorbent than, than the tissue paper. They're not any easier wiping the tears away. It doesn't make it any easier. So I really love that. And she is correct. She is a gorgeous creature and I'm loving her style and I'm just loving her energy. And I will definitely be checking more of her out because I, I'm at a place in my life where I love that female empowerment after getting divorced and after going through so much, I really connect to that girl power so Wow. I also love, this is kind of random, but I feel like a lot of women, they, when they perform, they try to have those sultry bedroom eyes all the time. And she is so versatile with her expression. And I think that that's something that largely gets ignored because I feel like a lot of women are trying to seduce and they're trying to impress and that comes through in their performances. But she's just genuinely out there having fun. I wish I could share this with every girl or woman on the face of the planet because it's becoming far too common for people to think that their worth is dependent on their relationship status. And they accept being treated like garbage because they just don't want to be single. They don't want to be alone. And let me tell you, you can be alone without being lonely. And in some way, this is a really great reminder of that, that you can have fun all by yourself and you don't need to settle. If you want games in your life, buy a Nintendo because it doesn't talk back. It doesn't create all of this drama and all of this toxicity and all of this pain. It's far more rewarding than becoming emotionally involved in someone who's going to tear you apart and spit you out. There are more rewarding, there are funner games out there than the ones that you're going to get from uh, unhealthy relationships. So thank you, Samantha, for that energy. Now that I have chicken danced on YouTube, I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go. I'm just kidding. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. I think that it's important to remember that there are a lot of happy parts in our journeys as well. And even if you're struggling, I feel like this is the kind of song that's going to raise your vibes. These are the kinds of things that we have to be uh, exploring and exposing ourselves to more. It's okay to listen to the sadder stuff and process and validate our feelings, but then we have to find ways to raise our vibes, and this was perfect for that. I just feel like I have such high energy now, and I love songs that do that. But as always, feel free to share your mental health journeys here in the comments, good, bad, and crazy. This is more of the good, but I think there's a little bit of crazy in there too, and we hold space for everything. So just know that you have a safe place to share. Give this video a thumbs up. Chicken dance with me here. I, I, I think I want to see some pictures. So if you feel like emailing me some pictures, a video of you chicken dancing with me, feel free to do so. But I love you guys and appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.